Welcome to K1P1TV. My name is Ruth Herring and today I'm going to demonstrate cable stitches. Right, a cable stitch is where we have this sort of rope effect. We twist stitches around each other to create um, either cables that bend towards the left or cables that bend towards the right. And you can do combinations of both to make quite intricate designs. Now, a cable is knitted over knit stitches, it's worked over knit stitches and an even number. So here we have six knit stitches and then here we have another set of six knit stitches. So I'm going to demonstrate both cable um, to the back and cable to the front. Now the knit stitches are separated here by some purl, we call this reverse stocking stitch. And what this aims to do is to make this, the cable stand in relief so it makes them look very structural. Okay, right, what we're going to do to start is a couple of our reverse stocking stitch, so a couple of purl stitches, and then we take the yarn to the back in order to knit the next stitches. But what I'm going to do next is pick up what we call a cable needle now this is what we use for holding the stitches in order to twist them around each other. And we hold the stitches in this little bend so they don't fall off. Okay, so our cable is made up of six stitches. So what I'm going to do is slip one, two, three of them onto our cable needle and hold those stitches at the back of the work. I now knit three, one, two, three stitches from my left hand needle and then I slide those cable stitches to the other end of our double pointed cable needle and I knit them onto the right hand needle. One, two, three. Now they should be a little bit tight but they do loosen up as you do the rows between each cable. Right, just drop the cable needle for a few seconds while we purl our work our reverse stocking stitch, which is two purl stitches. Yarn to the back again because again our cable stitches are going to be knitted. Pick up your cable needle, slip one, two, three, and hold it the bend in the cable needle. And this time we're going to leave these at the front of the work. And I'm going to do one two, three knits from my left hand needle and then I'm going to slide the stitches to the other end of this needle and knit them on to my right hand needle. Now just a word of warning, when you hold to the front don't be tempted to turn the cable needle like that because you'll end up with a twist in your cable and it won't lie flat like this one does. So it is, a classic cable is sliding the stitches to the other end of the cable needle and then knitting them off. Now for this short space of time you have to work by holding three needles. So whoops, they can get a little bit tight. Sorry I'm talking and I've lost that one. Let me just push my cable needle up. There we go. They are tight and they should be quite tight. You don't want big baggy cables and then there's number three. Okay, they're all on there now, so I can now get rid of my cable needle. I won't be needing that until about um, eight rows time when I will make my other set of cables. Right, I'm just going to finish off this row with a purl two. Okay, so cable towards the right, cable towards the left. Now this is also called C6B. C means cable, um, six are the number of stitches and it's a, an even number of stitches for a classic cable and then B means that you hold half the number to the back of the work and then here C6F, C for cable, six the number of stitches and F, half the number of stitches are held to the front of the work. There we go. Right, to finish off, we work our wrong side row. And the easiest way to remember your wrong side row 
with cabling is that you knit the knit stitches and you purl the purl stitches. So where we've worked our cable, we're actually going to do purl now, so it's six purl. Our reverse stocking stitch becomes two knit and then finish off with six purl. five, six, and then two knit, and we're at the end of the row. Okay, and now we have a set of cables. Um, you can alternate how the cables are worked to create different patterns. Here, I've done cable to the back, to the front, to the back, and then I've done the opposite here, to the front, to the back, to the front. Now, if I were to take away my two purl stitches in the middle there, I would end up with what we call a honeycomb cable. Okay, so you would just set up your stitches without including those, those two there. And if I were to make this cable the same turn to the back, to the back, to the back, you'd end up with what we call a classic rope cable and the same here to the front, to the front, to the front, you'd end up with a classic um, rope cable that leans um, towards the left. Okay, I hope you found that useful. Um, look at K1P1 TV for more cable ideas and also visit our website k1p1.com. Mm -hmm.